Pence, who's been oh, appointed yeah, mm -hmm. sort of head the coronavirus yeah. case here in the United States, is going to speak now. Let's listen into what he did at the White say. House uh, Coronavirus Task Force meeting uh, in the Situation Room, and uh, we continue to implement uh, the President's vision, not just for a whole of government response to the coronavirus, but a whole of America approach. Uh, the focus of our task force uh, today uh, and going forward is on implementing the President's public and private partnership on testing, uh, focusing on ensuring that state and local authorities uh, have the guidance and the support to ensure mitigation, particularly in areas where we've seen community spread, and uh, we're continuing to lean in at the President's direction uh, on addressing capacity issues in our hospitals and with regard uh, to equipment. Now, let me reiterate the President's uh, gratitude, uh, not just for the team behind me and the team behind them, all of our federal agencies that are literally working uh, every day um, to bring a whole of government approach to this, but we also want to commend uh, all of the governors across the country. I'll be speaking again uh, to all the governors, all 50 states and the territories tomorrow. Uh, but as the President said yesterday in the Rose Garden, we couldn't be more grateful uh, for all of the governors, particularly the, in areas where we've had community spread, uh, for the seamless cooperation that's taking place. And we commend local health authorities and all of those who are literally on the front lines. Also grateful for all the businesses that you saw in high relief yesterday, businesses around the country, uh, in sports and entertainment and retail that are making decisions based on CDC guidelines and good common sense to protect the American people. And lastly, uh, as the President also said, we, we just want to thank the American people uh, for listening to local authorities, listening uh, to recommendations uh, from the CDC. Um, Even we'll listening to Vice President Mike Pence just outlining, you know, what's going on with the coronavirus here in the United States after President Trump spoke in the lab, we did get some major headlines. Well, and also to have President Trump taking as many questions as he did. It didn't appear that he was planning to do that, um, but he did stop and take a number of questions. He kept wanting to leave, and he kept taking more questions, and even as he was walking out the door. So that's inter interesting. We don't see that often. But he was asked about uh, how Americans are shopping, and he said that is fine. If people are going to go to Costco and they want to stock up on things, he had no opposition to that. And he was also okay with Apple making that decision to close all of their stores in this country, right. at least until March 27th. He did say that he took the test for the coronavirus. Yes, that's well. pending. Um, right, so he doesn't yep. have the results yet, but a lot of people have been asking him a lot about that, so uh, I, I think he really needed to make that statement as well. And then announcing overnight that bipartisan relief bill is going to provide about $50 billion, and that's so folks at us here in Southern California, uh, local municipalities can now use that. The president also said that uh, everyone can get a free coronavirus test. I, I think we're going to have to look into the details around that, because at one point we were hearing that if you don't think that you're sick, you might not need to take the test. But again, mm -hmm. those were some of the headlines that were... Uh, essentially said by the president. And the fact, we can say that all day long, but people aren't being tested. There aren't yeah. enough kits. So, you know, you hear that constantly from medical professionals saying, we need kits. What's going on? We need to be testing people. So, you know, hopefully that will be the next step and we can hear more about that. You know, one thing interesting, too, I, I believe when all the reporters came into the White House press room, everyone had their temperature taken. And the president said he had his temperature taken, too. So they're taking the precautions there. The president made a, a remark. Of, he was asked, why are you still shaking hands? And he says it's, it's a habit. It's a habit of everyday life. I think we have to go through that as well. So it's, it's a learning process. Not only the commander in chief has to learn uh, new ways of greeting people, but we, we do as well. We do as well, yeah. exactly. All right, we're going to continue to talk about the coronavirus this morning. It's causing, I wouldn't really call it cause chaos, but th there's long lines and, and store shelves are pretty much empty at all the stores that we've seen this morning. Customers are showing up to uh, these lines, these empty shelves that we're talking about here, uh, just to kind of see how they're handling it. We did know that they lined up at Costco before 6 a.m. and it doesn't even open till 9.30. Aaron Myers is live outside of the Costco. So they just opened, you're in Cyprus, they just opened their doors, but people are still in line. Good morning to you. Yes, still quite a line, and they actually opened a little bit early. I'd say about 10 minutes early, but what they're doing here is they're allowing a certain amount of people in. They can go get their stuff, and there are limited items on certain things, uh, and then once they leave, they'll let more people in. They're trying to keep everybody calm, and then one thing I do want to mention is there was a gentleman we spoke to. He's filling a prescription, uh, and he asked if he had to wait in line. In that case, no. You can go to the front. They will help you get in to just get your prescription and then leave, so there are 
things like that that are happening as well. But you can see here the line is starting to move, uh, but once again, they are only letting a certain amount of people in at a time. And this is not the only Costco we're seeing lines like this. Marina Del Rey, Los Feliz, Alhambra, just to name a few. And the shopping frenzy, it started with items like hand sanitizer and toilet paper. Uh, and those items are still a hot commodity. That is what majority of people here are trying to get, especially the toilet paper. And now we are though seeing the other items uh, fly off the shelves like food, uh, some of those staples. Now some of the stores, people have been waiting in line for hours. We know one uh, gentleman got out here at three in the morning and they are limiting the amount on items that you can buy when it comes to things like water and toilet paper. Certain stores like Walmart uh, employees have been given that go ahead as well besides here just at Costco. Now some stores are actually even shortening their hours to give employees more time to clean. And if you are shopping online, sites like Amazon, many products aren't available still, uh, but they are trying to remedy that as well. And we did speak to shoppers out here this morning about what they're looking for. And for some, it's been quite a process. I'm out here earlier because I need toilet paper. And how hard has it been to find? Well, I've been on this quest for about a week now, in and out, early morning, out the work, looking, and it's been hard to find. Uh, and if you are having a hard time finding things online, there are some sites that will tell you where things are in stock. You can go to instock.net, brickseek.com, and getmark.com. That is marked with two Ks. Back here live, once again, seeing this long line here. Uh, people, once again, will be limited to certain things, certain items here. Uh, the good news, people, very calm so far, and we have seen police here, and they say they're here just to keep an eye on things and hope uh, everything will still remain to go, remain uh, going smoothly here. That's the very latest here in Cyprus. I'm Mary Myers. I'll send it back to you.